now what I want to do is I want to set up my inventory. That's all the items that you're selling. If you're a restaurant, it's basically everything that's on your menu. So I'm going to go to inventory items. And then I'm going to click on items. And as you can see, it's empty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one. So add or F3. I'm gonna just type in an item number. Usually, I'll I'll just put in like the name of the item. So let's say I'm selling an NCR machine. Uh, yeah, an NCR. I'll just put in NCR. Item description: NCR. Product: I'll just put in NCR because that's what it is. Category: It's like computers. And then subcategory. And subcategory is like touch screen. So I'll just put in touch. If you have if you're selling like if you're if you're a bar, you can put, you know, category alcohol. Subcategory beer. That that same idea. Cost price is the price that it costs you to to have to make your product and the list price is how much you sell it for. So it'll tell you how much what your profit is. And you just want to save that. And then we're going to move on to the, it's going to open the details of your company. So what you want to do is you want to make a department and that's just, it keeps everything more organized. So I'm just going to put in like computer, so comp. And then I just want to click on any other space and it'll ask me if I want to save it. So, yes. And then I'll just put in description. So I'll just put in computers. And I'll save that. Age limit is if you have alcohol and you just put an age limit, but it doesn't make it much of a difference. Pricing, you shouldn't have to touch anything on there. You just want to verify that the information is correct. Now, touch buttons. Button line one, when you have your inventory or when you're on the cash, when you're signed in on the register, it'll show you each item on a little on a little square. So button line one will be NCR and then after in the middle of the button it'll be system. And I don't want any of button line three or button line four. So I'll just take out the stars or else it'll show stars. I can also add a picture. So I'll just select any picture. Actually, I'll just yeah, you just go th scroll through there, and you can see all the pictures that we have set on the NCRs. So I just set one a, a random picture. Modules. You don't really need to to change any of that. So what you want to do is you just want to save it, and then you can see that it's in the inventory. So you, all you want to do is you want to start off by adding every single item in your inventory onto there. And then we're going to separate it right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to setups, menus and touch screen setups, menus and sales screen. And we're just going to select that. Now you can see it's all empty. You have like a set of squares and then on the left side you have each each set, like every set of menu. So you have like different pages basically. So the first page is like it'll be your home page. So everything links back to your home page. So I'll just make it home and button line one it'll be home because that's what you'll see so I'll just save that and then number two I'll just put like main because you know like main courses or like if you're a restaurant and you just want to put in all your different like main and then after I'll put in desserts let's say 
and then you know you'd put like appetizers you'd put everything on there just to separate your inventory and it'll be easier to find stuff if you separate it more now as you can see there's like the blue bar on top that's to, to link you to every different page so on top I'm just gonna add for each page I'm gonna add home main and desserts so I can go back to each one So you just want to do that for every single page. And then now what you want to do is you want to click on a gray square and just select your inventory item. So then it'll appear in my gray square. That you just want to load up every single item onto a gray square. And now once you're done putting everything and organizing your menu like that then you should be able to just exit go to your cash register just put in a sales ID and you should be able to make your sale So you can see that your menu's in there, and you can see the product, the NCR system. Now if I just click on it, you'll see it's showing me the price, it's showing me the sales total, which means that my item is registered properly. This video has been brought to you by RescueGeeks.com, so please visit.